I'm going to show you how I unbox it and then how I install it. You probably want to have somebody uh, to help you with it. It's a little awkward for one person, but for two people, it's not that big a deal at all. So first thing I do is I put it upside down. I get a uh, razor blade, uh, something just like this, and I uh, hit this, and then hit this, and open it up like this. And now the box is open. And the best way to unpackage it pretty much is to move it to one side, right, and then to flip it over, right, gently so you don't do anything to the floor. Pull this off, pull this off, easy enough, move it aside, get a grip on it, move these back. And again, one person can pretty much do this part, but you might want to have two people to move it. And then right over. And it's out of the box. Pull off the styrofoam. And there are your instructions. So pretty easy. The size of the safe, it's not that big. It's about, well, a little bit bigger than a guitar, kind of around the same size. So physically, in, in handling it and unpackaging it, it's not that big a deal, and its size is, is relative to the space you want to put it in. Once your safe is out of the box, you want to open it up on the manual, right on the face of the manual. It has your combination and code and how to open it up. And once you unlock it, once you open it up, you'll find inside the safe, there's a warranty, there's a guarantee, and then there's the registration form. All of these documents should be kept in the safe and this document should be filled and sent in. Once you get up close to the safe, it looks just like a safe does. It has your combination, some of them have an electronic keypad, some of them have an additional key. When you open it, right, it has, well, this is the big bolts. This is what they mean when they say big bolt safe. Uh, the bad guy is going to be hard pressed to be able to cut through that right there. And when closed, these make their way into the side of the safe and you're just not going to be able to get a saw in there. This thing's pretty tight. On closer inspection, you can see that there is quite a bit of room inside this safe. Even on the door, you could put documentation right there. That right there is designed to hang jewelry or keys. And inside, you could adjust that shelf to go in a number of different spots. You could put shoe boxes full of stuff in there. You could pile paperwork. You could put uh, jewelry in there. Uh, it, uh, it's set up so that it, it, it affords you a good amount of room. I'm going to mount my safe inside my closet or one of my closets. And to mount my safe, that means drilling some holes in the bottom of the safe. If you look at the very bottom of the safe, these are the feet on the safe. And these are designed to be drilled through. You see that little nub right there? Well, that right there is designed to, for a drill bit, and you drill right through it. The instructions show right here. Close the door, tip the safe onto its left side, door hinges horizontal with the floor. And then look at the bottom of the safe for two indentations on the feet in opposite corners. And it says use the 7 16th inch bit drill a hole through each indentation perpendicular to the bottom of the safe. It says do not drill from any location inside the safe. And that's just what the instructions show. And once you drill those holes, which I'll show you in a second, then you put your screws there and simply mount it to the floor. So again, this is the bottom of the safe. Get a drill with a 7 16th bit. Go to the bottom feet, right, and then just drill right through. That was easy. And then go right through the safe. Couldn't be any easier than that. And do the same for both sides. What's interesting is when I drilled through, if you see all that gray stuff inside the bit, that's all the fireproofing. That right there is uh, what keeps your uh, stuff inside from incinerating uh, in the event of a fire. Right there, all that that gray powdery clay stuff right there. Yeah, that's very cool. Nice job, Sentry. So once you've drilled through, you have this little hole. 
that you're going to put your bolt in. These bolts are also known as lags, and I have a washer for mine, so it sits nice inside of the safe. And the most important thing to do is to make sure that when you uh, install the lag, that you want to drill uh, a pilot hole in the wood uh, insi inside the safe, and I'll show you what I mean. So I got a smaller drill bit, a bit that is smaller than the actual threads, and I'll use this to drill the pilot hole. That way w the uh, lag goes into the wood a lot easier and it also won't split the wood. So you see how the threads are bigger than the actual bit? So now that my hole has been drilled to the bottom of the safe, I just take my drill and I drill, I, I start out just marking the um, floor with my pilot bit and now that I have a mark I do that on both sides on both feet and then I pull my bit out and then I just simply move the safe and I drill that hole the pilot hole in the floor once you have the pilot hole in the floor then just simply stick, stick your lag inside the safe with the washer and grab a couple tools you may or may not already have these kicking around. This is a box wrench, an adjustable wrench, and a socket wrench. Uh, each of these will twist that lag in the floor. And once the uh, lag is tight to the floor, the safe's inside your closet, uh, you have the washer on the lag, you're ready to go. It really is that simple.